Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steven and this is my Vancouver apartment tour. I've done a few of these before, but this is my updated, fully complete <laughs> Vancouver apartment tour. I live downtown Vancouver. I am on the border of Yale Town, but my actual neighborhood is called the Beach District neighborhood. So very downtown, close to the water, close to Yale Town, kind of just on the border of the West End too. So I feel like I'm in a perfect little spot. Currently, I still pay $2,050 a month in Vancouver, which is pretty good comparing um, what I have. I have a one bedroom, I have a den, and that includes parking and a locker, which is ideal. Um, it doesn't include hydro and internet, um, but considering deals and being in a new building and being so downtown, this is a really good deal in Vancouver. Let's dive into my Vancouver, my updated Vancouver apartment tour. So let's start in my kitchen. So this is the first tour that I'm doing without assistance. I'm doing this by myself on my camera, um, on like little tripods and things. Like not even a tripod, it's my camera has like this little mini tripod and then I'm like putting it on an elevated objects throughout my home. So my kitchen is actually very large for someone that doesn't cook a lot. Um, and it has everything that I would need, honestly, like more than enough. It has obviously a fridge, a stove, an oven, all of that. This entire wall is all storage and things I still don't use. Like from my last video, like some things up here, there's nothing in there um, because I just don't have enough stuff. And then I have my microwave, my oven and stuff as well all of that stuff. My fridge is behind here. Everything here, the freezer combo underneath. Got my dishwasher over here, which is dirty right now. And then my stove and then all of the, like, um, um, like shelving and all of that above. Originally when I moved in, like even my last unit had the same cabinetry with like this darker chocolate and like, wood color and Obviously it's a rental, I'm never gonna change it, but in theory I was like, oh, it's kind of dark. I don't know if I really like love it, but it's kind of grown on me now. And now I feel like with the tones and the color palettes that I've used throughout the space, I feel like this has everything. Um, I really like how everything works together in this space. This whole video is gonna be interesting because I'm doing it myself, <laughs> but um, so this is uh, like the, sort of the seating area. I don't have a traditional breakfast nook. So, or like a dining room table or anything. So it's basically here where I would eat if I'm not watching in front of the TV. I'll do some work over here as well. Um, and yeah, this is where I'll have like friends over if we have dinner, all of that stuff. Three acrylic chairs. These are from CB2. And I like, this is the most expensive thing in my apartment by far. Like this whole thing I think was like $1,300 or $1,200 for these chairs, which, I'm not even obsessed with anymore because they kind of scratch. Anyways, it was a whole debacle. I didn't want to get them. I was like, I'm not spending that kind of money. And then I was like, no, just do it. Like you really, really want it, um, do it. And then I did it. Uh, love them. They still look great. But if you are looking for the acrylic CB2 chairs, they're not worth the amount of money that they are. Okay, so my living room is my favorite part of this entire apartment. All of my like hangouts and everything happened in this part of the home. It's the place that I gave the most attention to when I was decorating everything. Very quickly when I have enough people over, it transitions into let's just sit by the couch, let's sit on like on the floor, let's hang out, let's watch a show, whatever it is, it all happens in here. And that's kind of the best part. So So this couch was something that I've had in my first apartment as well when I was living downstairs. It's also from Article. Um, and I've had this now for two-ish years, maybe two and a half years. Um, I honestly love it. Um, it. I'm not like obsessed with it, but it's comfortable. It works. It's it, like, you know, you can nap on it. You can watch TV on it. You can actually fit two people like kind of cozied up on it quite well. And even honestly, three people today, it's, it's happened before. <laughs> it's funny, people are always like, you're so tall, why'd you get a two-seater couch? In my last unit, it's all I had. It didn't, like, I couldn't put a bigger couch in. 
because my living room at, um, was sort of in the middle, so you couldn't make anything wider. And I didn't buy a new couch because they're expensive, so I kept this one. And honestly, I like it. I could have, you know, I could have made it bigger or upgraded, but it works for now. And the only takeaway on the couch is it kind of just gets like flat. Like this stuff gets kind of sad and like droopy in a way. So um, I'm always like refluffing it, but. Other than that, it works, it's a good couch, it feels very cozy, and you have a great view of the TV. And you also have a great view of the surrounding and stuff too. There's lots of light in my apartment, so you have, I think I can see down, like I can see all the way to like North Bend, pretty much, or Pearl Harbor, like looking down on this side of the window. So you have lots of light in here. Sometimes you feel like you're in a fishbowl, um, but <laughs> it's been pretty good because a lot of people, there's a unit that just got put up behind me, which was not there before. So I have, didn't really have those people that close because it was under construction the whole time. Now it's fully they've moved in. So they're my closest neighbors at this point. Everyone else was actually decently far away. So it's until recently that I feel more watched in a condo, but so that pretty much concludes the living room portion of the tour. So we're gonna go into the bedroom. So my room is pretty freaking small. They have this built in in all of the units, I'm pretty sure, or like most of them. So you're very stuck with what you can do here because of this unit. Um, now the unit is handy in a lot of ways because it does fit a lot of things and I probably wouldn't have put this much extra storage in my room. You're basically sleeping up against the wall or this little, like, you know, this built in. But other than that, it's just a room. It fits a queen bed perfectly, and it has lots of light in it. Then this is my walk-in closet, which I think my light is here. There we go. So my closet is pretty big. It's just me, so obviously it has everything that I need in it. I also put this desk in here. Um, that's from my old place as well, but it just puts like my, put my bag on it and some clothes, and that's pretty much it. And I have so much freaking laundry. You have no idea. No, don't judge that I have that much laundry. It's because I literally um, have my dryer broke. Um, so they're getting fixed tomorrow. So hopefully it's fixed by the time this video goes live because I need to do my laundry. And I don't wanna air dry everything because it's just so many like little things I'm trying to air dry and it's all over my apartment. Anyways, whatever. As you can see, this is the room and this is the bed, um, which is honestly perfect. Just what I need. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's really not much to say about my room. I can show you the storage a little bit if that's easier, but you open this up, <laughs> like literally nothing. These are two extra pillows. Um, my extra towels and stuff are up there. What do I have in here? Um, a pride flag <laughs> and a camera equipment, which I honestly don't know if I use that. So this is more storage over here. Um, that is my wig for a drag costume. And then I have a friend staying with me at the moment, so she has some of her stuff in here as well. So now we're gonna go outside for a second because I do wanna show you that I do have a balcony, which my old place did not have. Um, so like I said, everything else is updated in this tour. This is the only thing I never updated. I wasn't here all of last summer, so I didn't get to uh, do anything with it. Um, but I'll just show you the concrete slab that it is. So you pretty much have an empty balcony with nothing on it, no rug, no plants, no nothing. So now we're gonna do the front hallway and the bathroom. I'm trying to keep the lighting pretty good because this is just orange and not that nice. So this is the closet behind me. So this is the closet. So I do, like I said, I have my friend, she's still staying with me. So my closet's pretty simple. Honestly, I feel like I'm relatively organized. Um, all of my jackets, I have a little shoe cubby. Um, extra shoes that are my friend Lindsay's and then I have my keys car keys some bags a Tennis racket that my friend left me that he I, He just left it here and he doesn't want it back. So that's everything in here Okay, so it's bathroom time, which is the weirdest place to shoot because a I can't set this up anywhere and We're gonna it's just a regular old bathroom So one a few things that I love about the bathroom are I love this large mirror I love that I have this marble counter, and that I think is pretty consistent with the whole building. And then I just have, um, you know, a fake plant here, all my products and stuff here that I use on a regular basis. There's lots of storage down here for everything that I need, garbage, toilet. Um, I have a hook here, which I um, put my house coat on and my towel. And then this is the shower. 
Um, the shower is pretty simple. What I do love is that I have this little built-in so you can put, put your products in there and everything gets pretty hidden. The last thing I'm gonna show you before we wrap is my den. Now the den is something in my last video that I said I was gonna really focus on and really finish and make my own den makeover video. Never did that. So my den is like, ugh, the death of me and I'm never gonna do anything with it now um, if I do decide to move and stuff, but I will show you. So my den was something that I really have big you know, hopes for. I painted it this really nice green, this like kind of forest dark green, which I loved. I thought it looked great. But as you can see, it became storage. Lindsay's stuff is here because it's all where she, it's the only place that she has at the moment. Um, and then more boxes and boxes for a move potentially. And then like an old picture frame that fell. So it's basically storage. That pretty much wraps my 630 square foot apartment tour here in downtown Vancouver. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was my first sort of home tour like this in my own apartment that I'm doing by myself. I figured you can't wait for people to help you all the time and it's just, if you want to do something, you just got to do it. So this was my commitment to that. We'll see how it turns out. That's a weird sound. Huh. I have no idea what that was. If you have any questions on how I found my apartment or um, design tips or Anything like that, I'll try my best to answer those questions um, as much as possible. I love making videos like this. I feel like I love seeing what people pay for in rent and what they're getting in different cities, um, especially Vancouver. I always appreciate when people subscribe or comment or just share anything. It feels like, I feel like, I love that. It just means the world to me and I'm really enjoying doing this and I want to continue to do it uh, more and more. Um, full time at some point in the future. So this would be great. So like I said, thank you so much and thanks for watching.